I'm Solomon David Isom, and we are here in the town of Concord at the Concord Pavilion. I'm at the Soul to Soul Stone Concert, Stone Soul 2. I gotta say it right. That's right. All right, I'll be messing up, and we don't cut. We don't do takes around here. If you don't know who this gentleman is right here, I'm really lucky to be standing with this guy. This is Mr. None Other Than Felton Pilot from Confunction. How you doing? I'm good, man. A blessed to be here. Good to see you again. I'm saying you look marvelous. You look marvelous. Thank you, man. You Thank know, you, man. You still eating your vegetables? Uh, vegetables. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, when I put my dentures in, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, then you, then you do something. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, because you're looking good, man. You got to stand healthy and stand sharp, you know? What's going on with the function these days? Oh, we are in the middle of recording a brand new CD. It's called The Sound of Grown Men. We expect to have it out around Valentine's Day. Okay, good, good, good. good. And Coop, you got Coop still with you? Oh, it can't be Confunction without Coop. Yeah, yeah I seen Michael Cooper, and I was like... Coop, is that you? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, change his look and everything. But, you know, it's really good. You guys have been in the game for how many years? I'm the new guy. You're the new guy. And I joined in 1970. In 1970. <laughs> right, right, right. I saw, a thing on, uh, I saw a thing on Soul Train, and they had you guys on there. And you know what What? What? what was, uh, and what always stood out for me, because I was just telling you, I worked with you on a record a long time ago. Right. And I was a little kid working with my uncle, and it was called Quiet As It's Kept, I Can Do Bad By Myself by Jesse James. That's right, that's right. That? That's oh, yeah. Old school right. blues. And they still play that record right now, so I, I got in on that. But <laughs> I, you're, you were always inspiration to me with your technology, because you uh, engineered most of the records, produced most of the records, sang, played multi-instruments. How many instruments you play? Uh, my main instrument is keyboards, but I also play guitar, trumpet, and trombone. Right, 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 and do all of that, you know. And, and uh, what I what I, I liked about working with you was uh, your articulate, you know, get down. This is that you weren't kidding around in the studio, um, but you were courteous, you know. You didn't smoke and a lot of no foolishness was going on, and you still kind of keeping. That's what what's special about Confunction. None of the guys still drink, smoke, any of that. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep it clean. Uh, that's, that way we give our best performance. Right. I mean, that and that's, that's, that's the trick to longevity? I, I sure hope so. <laughs> okay. okay, where are you guys gigging? You know, where's where's some of the gigs you're doing? Uh, I believe we're in Reno next weekend on the, on the eighth. Uh, I think we're going to be off for a while. Uh, I'm expected to be doing a reality TV show. We're starting filming in November. I will keep you posted on the, on the name of it, and, and uh, it's going to be on VH1. But I'll, I'll get back in touch with you. Right. It's going to be so. It's, right. it's well, they picked the right guy for that, though. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you've always been a gentleman, and always been very courteous, and I appreciate Thank you man. always taking your time. And I was asking you about technology. You still doing the new technology? You're telling me the rundown of what everything you're as, operating and running. As, you as much as I possibly can, I want to stay on top of it. You know, of course, everyone is doing Pro Tools nowadays, but I remember doing a, a software program called Digital Digital Performer. Now, I remember using it. When it's just called performer. I mean, before we, you know, before audio uh, wave stations became came popular. So I've, I've been trying to keep up on it. Man. When I think about it, do you remember the 1040 Atari 1040 ST? Yes. Yes. I think I think you had one of those. Yeah. <laughs> no, because I went and bought one of those. It was like that was a long time ago. But I'm just saying, you know, it's just beautiful to see you guys. Any advice to young artists, especially in R&B, about being longevity? Because you guys have millions of records and you stay humble. Give these young people uh, how, to, how to do that. Okay. Advice number one, perfect your craft, right? Advice number two, I just call the music business for a reason. <laughs> you know, and, it's, and as much as musicians and, and, and artists that we'd like it to be about the art, it is way more about, nowadays, nowadays especially, it's way more about the business. So learn as much about the business as you can possibly can. Right. How are you feeling about this new viral get down and in, in the independent business, record business? How are you feeling about it now with the transition to, to digital since everything is so, you know, online? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, right? Uh, of course, it is possible to make more money off of record sales if you're your own record company. Understand that, right? Uh, but the larger record company, the, the advantage to the larger record companies is because they had big bucks to put behind the promotion, right? And given a choice, just, just me personally, between selling 25,000 copies and make, making more money than I would have selling 200,000 copies with a big record company, I think I would rather have sold the 200,000 copies. Right, right. Cash in your pocket, no advantage. Uh, uh, um, no, not, not because of that. But more people will come to see me if I've sold 200,000 records than if I've only sold 25,000. Right, right, <laughs> right. right, right, right. So, and since part of my reason for doing this is for my audiences to come see me, you know, I want to draw as much of an audience as I possibly can. Right. But I think for the entrepreneurs who 
the, the, the self-made businessman, I think it's the perfect way to get in there and go and, and, and have control. Right, right. Uh, that's, right, that's beautiful. You know, I know you guys got to get ready to play. You know, but like I said, I appreciate you always taking my time. The show is the town. <laughs> I'm Solomon David Ice and this is Felton Pilot from Confunction. If you don't know, records like fun, fun, fun. Oh, oh, why? I'm going to do it again. No, no, no. So I was interviewing somebody and he said, my favorite song is right now, Why I Ever Lost You by Confunction. So I broke out. Why have I lost you? That's your know, right? Now I have to tell you. What? Why Have I Lost You is by Cameo. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't I say that? <laughs> Well, you sing the high yeah, notes, too. You know what? You did. Uh, that's right. We did hear him say cameo. Yeah. You did hear him say that. <laughs> Golly. This is crazy. But this is the beauty of this man that I didn't get fired. Felt Confunction. Google it. Bing it. Get it right. I'm going to get it right, too. Okay? I'm going to do my history next time. But I love you, and I love Confunction. You know you guys are my band. Okay? And, and I'm going to enjoy you guys. And we're going to show you guys a little bit of footage of them. And thank you, man. Hey, man, God bless you, man. Thank you not for firing me either. Y'all take it. Leave walking off the stage. <laughs> All right. Love take you. Take care, man. God thank bless you, man. Good seeing you. The town.